I've got classes this morning, Mom. So how about we take that shopping trip after college? Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm ready. Can I come? Why not? Mom, do you know at school we've been learning about planning our meals for the week? What do you think? In Iraq, we didn't plan our meals. No, I don't mean. It's just something we're learning. They talk about eating from the five food groups to make us healthy and happy. Healthy and happy, huh? And what hummus and tabbouleh makes us sick and sad? Oh, mom. Cake makes me happy. Cake has a lot of fat and sugar magic. Ah, uh, boring. It's also bad for your teeth. So the right foods can make us happy and healthy. But what about wealthy? Well, actually, mom, my teacher says if you plan ahead, then you buy what you need and you don't waste food. You save money. I suppose that's right. Okay, so how about we plan the meals? Yogurt, cheese, tuna. Oh, we're out of white beans. What about beef tonight? Sure, 500 grams should be enough for the four of us. Good. Now tell me, what are these high five foods? No, it's the five food groups. The first is vegetables and legumes. We need plenty of those. Do chickpeas count? Absolutely. Okay, let's get dried and tin white beans and variety of vegetables. The second group is grain foods. We need plenty of those too. We eat rice most days. Yes. Now they say brown rice is healthier. Because it has more fiber and vitamins. What is fiber? Fiber is a part of plants' foods. It keeps our digestive system healthy. Okay, brown rice. Put it on the list, and also some wholemeal bread. The third group is fruit. Two serves a day is good. Fruit is full of fiber and vitamins to keep us healthy. We can make a fruit dessert, figs and oranges. That will put a smile on Major's face. Yeah, and after school, fruit is good. Healthy eating is important for the whole family. To stay healthy, we need to eat a variety of foods from the five food groups every day. The first three groups are plant foods. These provide vitamins, minerals, and fibre, and are low in fat. These groups are vegetables. Eat a variety of different coloured vegetables and legumes. Try to have five serves every day. Fruit. Eat at least two serves every day. Grain foods. Whole grain varieties are best as they contain more fibre. Most of the foods we eat should be vegetables, grains, and fruit. The fourth group is protein foods. That's fish, eggs, nuts, legumes, and meat and poultry without the fat and skin. You know your father loved the fat. True, but the fat and skin increases the risk of heart attacks. The last group is dairy products. These are important for strong bones and teeth. My teacher says lower fat is better for your heart. So we need cheese, yogurt, and milk that is lower in fat. Ice cream, mom. That's dairy. And chocolate biscuit for your favorite son, please. My only son. Don't you remember the feelings at the dentist last week? The other two food groups are mainly foods from animals. We need smaller amounts of these foods. They provide vitamins and minerals such as iron for energy and calcium for strong bones and teeth. These groups are protein foods, which include meats. Poultry, fish, eggs, and legumes, and dairy foods, which includes milk, yogurt, and cheese. We need oil too, or should we use butter? At school, we learn that animal fats like butter and lard are not good for us. Okay, let's add olive oil to the list. There's no bulga. Do you know where we can buy it? I think I saw some at the markets, but for now, we could just use rice. 